Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to get the make, model, brand or the manufacturer of your phone, your device in your Android app. So let's begin. We will create a new project. Keep it empty activity. Make and model of the phone. You can name this app anything. Click finish. Wait for the environment to load up. Once the environment loads up, what we will do is we will go to the layout. Uh, but before that, I will also load my emulator uh, in parallel so that whatever changes we do, we can see it in our emulator. Let my emulator also loads, uh, load up. And in this layout, what we will do is we will use this text view, the default text view what we get in the, the default text view widget what we get. So I'll give it some ID, probably text view ID, and leave all other things as it is. I'll increase the size of the font, probably from 14 to 20, and uh, and I'll also probably change the default string from program hello world to programmable my channel name. Yeah. Okay. Apart from this, I'll put a button which will you we will use to trigger to get the make get make and model yeah so you can name it anything and with the output will display it is over here in the text view we'll give the constraints to this button that's all i guess from layout perspective we'll go to the java code first and foremost we'll create a class variable private text view and this class variable we will associate with the uh, widget also, if you note on the right hand side, my emulator is loading up, so that's a good thing. Let it do, it takes some time, so that's why I have done it in the start itself. And r.id.textView. Dot dot yeah. And for the button, we'll create a public method public void button get make and model. And then we we'll, can name it probably view view. Yeah. Okay, uh, before we go do anything, we'll go back to our layout and in this button on click attribute, we will connect it with the public method which we just now created. If you come back, the color of this will change from gray to blues if you are able to note that. Anyway, so we we'll create a string variable. The code is very simple, it's just one line of the code. We'll just create a string variable, uh, string build make. Or I'll just make it model. Now there is a API called build, and in this build, there are various options which we are able to see, like model, SOC model, board, bootloader. So, so these are the options which I was talking of and which we'll use to display our uh, the model name or the uh, the manufacturer of the uh, of our uh, phone. So what I'll do is I will choose only few of these things. We'll choose few of these options. So say for example, I'll choose uh, model and what else? I'll also put, I'll keep giving the new line and um, no. So plus and uh, so this is model. So I'll do one thing. I'll put some string here, model and a space plus. So this is my model and then over here what I will print is this is manufacturer manufacturer and then a space and then I will again use the same uh, API build dot manufacturer and also most likely I will uh, okay let me see what all other options are there build dot probably the device name yeah so these three are what I will use today uh, you can explore other options as well but device yeah so once we have it then we'll use our text view to print this uh, uh, set text and i can set this string will model that's all so let me run this in our emulator and see how the code comes up so i just wanted to show you that it's there in a object called build which by default is accessible or available in all the apps code and one can easily fetch out. So the moment I clicked here, you can see the model is whatever the SDK jet phone manufacturer. Okay, I should have given some 
probably new line could have been a better no i think i did something wrong so this will make sure that things starts in a new line and also what i can do is i can most likely go back to my layout and here in this text view i can make it a little broader so that it can accommodate i'll make it larger wait it can accommodate as much of information as possible in the single line so if i rerun the code so everything will get printed in the, into the new line now is what i hope if i click this yeah so model is hdk g phone uh, manufacturer is google so i'm using the emulator so i think that's why it's coming like that and device name is emulator 64 x86 uh, blah blah so i think that's all i just wanted to show you how easy it is so uh, yeah, so you have to just use this build uh, object and then you can pull out the respective information what you want to be, uh, pull out from that and that will display the name of the manufacturer or the model of the phone uh, over there. So I hope this video is useful to you. If you have any questions or suggestions, then please put in the comment section. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye.